What's up? It's your boy GTS the King, and as you can see, uh, this is 1900 Gary. Yeah, it's from the Asylum Game Jams, just like uh, the Buried Moon. I'm checking out a bunch of these games, uh, trying to figure out which ones are the best ones to show you guys, so you guys can play them for yourself. So I don't know anything about this game other than it was created in like 48 hours. I know the creator. Uh, it was like Nexus or something like that. Anyway, the guy had ADHD. He incorporated it in the game. That's all I really know about it. It's powered by Unity, so let's find out what this game is all about. Overland Pond was certainly full of wonders. I grew up here, so I'm pretty well versed in them. It's like an RPG style game. There was a square mile field that was full of weeds all overgrown and yellow. Gnats and flies buzzing all around. You could sit down and there and you'd be completely concealed. Nobody on the sidewalk is going to see you, and nobody driving up Quivera or West 11th could see you either. You could probably whack off in there if you wanted to. I tried once after finishing a shift to Subway, but the bugs kept getting in my ears, throwing me off my game. Okay! The storm drainage tunnels behind Cobbler Park. Me and Eduardo, Eduardo found out if you head into them and make two left turns, you come to a sewer drain that has a clear view of my house. We smoked weed from a 7-Up can from that spot. Some old man walked by and started shouting, Fire! There's a fire in the sewer! And we ran right out of there. But there was one thing that wasn't so wonderful. 1900 Gary. It started as a joke in our group about this dude who used to live in the neighborhood. His name was, you guessed it, Gary. Dude loved his name. He had one of those nameplate necklaces, you know, like it, like in Ratchet Girl Culture, Gary, and 14 karat gold and a uh, dainty little uh, cursive font. This game is so cool already. Gary, vanity license plate. Even his phone number was 555-GARY. I didn't even think you could do that. It wasn't just his name he was proud of, though. He also liked to show off his body. Nary a Saturday afternoon would pass when you wouldn't see Gary hosing down his sport utility vehicle, wearing nothing but a Speedo shades, his Gary nameplate, and a smile. One of our friends, Sean, made a bit of a hobby out of making prank telephone calls to 555 Gary. He'd call up and say, Is this 1900 Gary for all my Gary needs? Or some crap like that. And Gary would get so pissed and Sean would record his reactions and email it to us. He'd do this in the middle of the night, mind you. None of us found Sean's calls particularly clever, but it was funny listening to Gary getting all worked up. He'd say things like, Boy, I'm gonna get you in my trap, and there will be no escape, because when you mess with Gary, you're playing with fire. One day at school, Sean told us he was going to make the best Gary call yet. He asked us to all be online at midnight so he could make it a conference call. He really wanted us to hear this for some reason. But at midnight, press enter to interact with objects, press escape to open, save menu or cancel, hold shift to, to lightly jog. Try examining everything at different times. You never know what you might find. This game has a has multiple endings. Don't be afraid to try different approaches, but be sure to save your game first. Cool. Okay, so you play with the arrow keys, and it was in, it was enter that was the interact. Okay. There's a book here, scary stories, the telephone repairman. <laughs> Maybe you should give it a quick scan. Sure. Does it say telephone repairman across my chest, he asked me, motioning from his right nipple to his left with a stubby index finger. It didn't say anything across his chest. He was wearing a striped shirt. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to answer, so I left the office. I stepped inside the ladies' room, ducking into a cubicle and sitting on the porcelain throne, preparing for my morning subsesh, as Cosmo calls it. The tears don't come at first. Like all good things, they come to those who wait those who concentrate. I remember when I was five and my dad said I couldn't stay up to watch Married with Children. I remember the end of my girl, too. I remember the time I tried to buy Illusion of Gaia, but it was sold out. It's around then that I realize all my sad memories are solely reliant on intellectual properties and my tears begin to flow. Freely, like the river of time, my howling sobs echoing against the cubicle walls in a dizzying demonstration of bathroom acoustics. 
How liberating. How re-energizing and so good for the skin. I rub my eyes and check in circular and cheeks in circular motions, giving myself a salty facial. I'll be the envy of the Elks Club for sure. I regain my composure and step out of the restroom. A woman stands across the room, pouring Alpen into a bowl. She's looking in my direction, and she's looking disturbed at that. I twist my reddish face into a smile and wave. I won't lose my job over this. That was spooky. That was weird. So, let's escape. Save. Save. Just like the Crooked Man and all that crap. Okay, okay, we got it, we got it. This is my favorite poster. It's balls of all shapes and sizes. He likes balls. Upon closer inspection, I notice a small amount of soil on the floor around Wardruff's... I need to remember to start putting the newspaper down again. Okay. Welcome to OOL. To Culliver has entered the chat. Butt Blaster 84. Sup, Taco. McKinley 420, yo. Eduardo Disobedience. Looks like we're all here. Taco Lover. Where's the man on where's the man of the hour? He'll be here soon enough. Sean never misses an op to mess with Gary. Uh it's like one AM. I don't think Sean is coming. This blows goats. I'm going to bed. Alright, guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. What the heck? Darn it. Must have been a power surge. I was just going to bed, but I should probably restart the breaker in the basement. I can access the basement via the kitchen. Okay, so... I like this fucking game, man. This game is cool as hell so far. Oh, a little broken there. Let's see. I'm not going to break the game. The TV screen is dark. It displays nothing but my reflection. Mm, indeed. What's this here? I open the closet to find my clothes. <laughs> this game is so cool. Lacey's room. Who's Lacey? Lacey. What's the deal? The power just went out all of a sudden. Spooky. Lacey's computer is dark and silent just like the rest of the house. It doesn't respond. Get away from my computer, you nerdlinger. Okay. Let's go forward. This game is cool as hell. This door leads to my parents' bedroom. After dark, hours beyond one's wildest imaginations take place in there. Open the door? No. No, I know better than that. No, we're not going to go into the parents' bedroom. That's just weird. <laughs> okay, what's in here? Bathroom. Okay. Kitchen. <laughs> this game is awesome, man. I don't know why. It's just really cool. No matter how many times I flip the circuit breaker, the power just won't come back on. The phone. Right, I forgot we could jog. Get the phone. Hello? You've reached 1900 Gary for all your Gary needs. You're through to the big man himself. Life is life, death is death. Gary is Gary. Boy, I am going to get you in my trap. And there will be no escape. Because when you mess with Gary, you're playing with fire. Oh, crap. I quickly slammed the receiver down. Does this mean Gary knows where I live? What does he want with me? He should be after Sean. What's that sound? You guys probably can't hear that. That's so faint. I don't even know what the hell that is. I don't know why I went back to the base.
basement. I was just assuming that there might be something down there. No, it's not coming from there. Whoa. This doesn't look good. It's awful. That awful sound seems to be coming from within the toilet. I'd better be prepared. Look into the toilet bowl. It seems unusually dark. In fact, it's pitch black in there, except... I think I can see something gold glittering within the bowl. Reach into the toilet. Rolling up my sleeve, I stick my arm into the toilet bowl. I manage to grab the gold object, but it seems to be stuck on something. I can't pull it out. I kneel down so as to get a better look inside the bowl. That's when I realize it's a nameplate. Reading Gary. Attached to a necklace. Around a neck. Oh my god, what? When I came to, I was in a hospital bed. Up to the elbow, my left arm was completely missing. I wonder how that happened. The last thing I remember was sitting in front of my computer. Hey, that reminds me. When I was in 8th grade, my gym coach had one arm. Ending 7, my gym coach. Oh, man, that's awesome. We're gonna, we're gonna continue. What were we doing? Oh, yeah. I had to go down here to reset the box. Oh, this game is awesome. This game is awesome. Yeah, no matter, we know. Can't turn on the electricity, the phone. Let's go get it. Hello? You've reached 1900 Gary for all your Gary needs. You're through to the big man himself. Hang up. Same thing as before. What's that sound? This time we're not gonna stick our arm in it. Cause obviously that was a bad idea, but then again Looking to the toilet, toilet bowl, it seems dark. In fact, it's pitch black in there. I think I can see something gold. I wonder what happens if we talk to it. Is somebody in there? That's weird. Gotcha. Dressed in his favorite Speedo, sunglasses, and nameplate necklace, Gary stepped out of his front door and took a deep breath. That's a smooth summer wind, he beamed, the perfect weather to wax the Gary-mobile. As he began to buff the hood of his prized automobile, a man approached him. Gary, didn't you know the man's name? Gary didn't know the man's name, but he recognized him as a neighbor. My son's been missing since last night, said the man with a pained expression on his face. You haven't seen him, have you? Gary looked to the man with a concerned expression. Can't say that I have, neighbor. I'm sure sorry to hear that. I'll sure keep an eye peeled for your boy. Say, ain't that the third kid who's gone missing in the past few weeks? Gary asked the man. Fourth, you don't think there's a predator around, do you? Gary smiled at the man. Here, in Overland Pond, there is a nice... There, this here is a nice neighborhood. Assuming the worst ain't gonna help you much. I'm sure your boy's out there safe and sound. Probably just didn't want to eat his broccoli. The man returned Gary's word with a pained smile. You're right. You're probably right. I'll keep looking. Thank you for your help. You just keep a cool head, sir, and you'll be fine your boy. As the man walked away, Gary began wiping down his headlights. He was going to have the cleanest car in the cul-de-sac, and the babes were going to love him for it. Ending 5. Gary's Summer Vacation. Oh, man. This game is awesome. I love this game. Um... I don't know, man. There's, like, not a lot to it, but it, it's it's so cool. It's entertaining as shit. Uh, I'm going to play again, uh, probably just make a part two, and uh, try to find some more of the endings. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do all of them, but I'm at least try to find a couple more and see how far we can get into this game. Uh, it's pretty damn sweet, so I don't know. You guys need to check out the uh, Asylum Jam, so 
Check it out. GTS the King. Peace. Fucking stab it.